This is Dr. Shikil Ahmed. Today I want to discuss the ultrasound features of diffuse glitter. In this video, the ultrasound features of diffuse glitters are discussed. It is requested to subscribe the channel to have more videos and to encourage us for working further to help our professional community. One of the ultrasound feature of diffuse guiter is increased thyroid volume. The thyroid volume is different for women and men. For women, if it is more than 18 cc or ml, it will be considered as diffuse guiter. And for men, the volume of 25 and more is considered to be enlarged. Here are three images which are taken for the measurement of the guiter. This is the transverse image showing the right lobe, the left lobe and the isthmus. This image shows the length of the left lobe and the other one the length of the right lobe. How to measure the thyroid volume? It is very simple by multiplication of the anterior posterior diameter to transverse diameter and to the longitudinal diameter of each lobe. These are multiplied by the 0.52 and this will give us the volume of each lobe. The volume of each lobe are added if the isthmus is significantly enlarged, its volume is also added. In this image, the AP diameter, the transverse diameter, and the longitudinal diameter are measured in centimeter, multiplied, and then multiplied to the 0.52. Each lobe was 14 cc or ml. Since the isthmus is also considerably enlarged, its volume was approximately 1 cc. So the total volume of this thyroid is 29 ml. Since the patient was male, in the normal value for the males is 25 ml. It is mild diffuse guiter. Other features of diffuse guiter is the ecotexture. As we see in this image, it is homogeneous. It is very much fine. And sometimes it may show small grainy ecotexture. The ecogenicity is isoequic or mildly hyperequic. The fourth ultrasound feature of diffuse guiter is the margins, which are well defined. The fifth feature of diffuse guiter is absence of nodules and also the absence of calcifications. Another feature of diffuse guiter is the normal vascularity. On color flow Doppler sonology, the pattern of vascularity is 0 or 1. This is pattern 1 vascularity of the thyroid gland. Now, sometimes we are facing problems in case of large or very large diffuse guiders. 
First of all, if diffuse goiter is very large, it may dislocate some adjacent organs or vessels, especially the esophagus. And if it is more enlarged and asymmetrical, then the trachea may also be displaced or dislocated. It is also a challenging task to measure the length of the lobe in case of very large goiter, but it can be rectified by using the convex probe. The other drawback of ultrasound is that ultrasound underestimates the volume of very large goiter by approximately 20%, especially if the goiter has a volume of more than 150 to 200 ml. I hope that I have delivered the message, especially to health professionals. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe is requested.